جی السلام علیکم فرسٹ آف آل دس لائیو ویڈیو وچ آئی ایم شیئرنگ وتھ یو از ریگارڈنگ اے پوسٹ وچ آئی پوسٹ دس مارننگ ایٹ مائی انسٹاگرام اینڈ سوشل میڈیا اینڈ اٹ واز اباؤٹ اے فین آف مائنڈ ہو از لیونگ ان فیصلہ آباد اینڈ نیم واز ہادیا اینڈ شی واز سکسٹین اونلی اینڈ شی واز سفرنگ فرام تھلسیمیا آئی کیم ٹو نو دس مارننگ دیٹ شی از نو مور اینڈ شی پاسٹ اوے cannot imagine how sad and how devastated I am to know that. Um, one of her friends told me that she was running my fan page, one of my fan pages, Imran Abbas TV. And uh, when I went through her direct messages, I found out that she was um, asking me to reply just for once. And um, uh, she was just asking me to uh, just go through her emails and direct messages. And unfortunately, I couldn't do that. But let me just tell you one thing very clearly here. Okay, I want to explain it on the behalf of my fraternity, my, my follow actors, all those people who are being followed at Instagram um, and have a strong fan base. Um, see, we, all of us are a normal human being like you guys. We also go through rough patches in lives. We go through good times, bad times, good days, bad days, sorrows, joys, griefs, happiness, everything. And the worst part is that we are uh, not allowed to, um, to show that side of our personality or what we go through uh, to the general public. All we have to do is just put a smiley face all the time and just show it to people that there's nothing happening in our lives. Our posts are supposed to be all happy. Our um, traveling pictures and everything shows that we are just, you know, not having any, anything wrong in our lives. I lost my father a few months back. My mother uh, met a brain hemorrhage almost a month back. And even then, I tried to contact and communicate with my fans as much as I could. I still remember that uh, the time when I lost my sister almost four months, uh, four years back, and uh, I had to shoot for a serial Khudar Mohabbat when I was totally crumbled from inside and I was broken into pieces. And I had to shoot a scene where my heroine is Like, you know, she just passed away and uh, I had to cry multiple times in front of the camera because my director was so demanding that he shot that particular scene for dozens of times with all the lenses and angles and lights and whatever he could imagine in his so-called creative mind. He just came up with that. And you cannot imagine how devastating it was for me to act to experience the same thing, to recall the fact, to recall that picture of my sister, uh, sister's funeral. And I was doing it. But generally people don't know about it, right? And I'm one of those very blessed people at the same time who have a huge fan base across the globe and people love me enormously. I have lots of fan pages and trust me, I receive thousands and thousands and thousands of mails every day every day so it's humanly impossible to reply all of them reply oh, to not even look at all of them to even like, go through all of them it's impossible just put yourself in my shoes for a minute that if you are there and you receive or even hundreds mails in even hundreds right not in thousands would you be able to reply all of them with all that happening in your life simultaneously no you cannot right so how do you expect me to react and respond to all these messages I posted this picture of my fan who passed away this morning and I uh, shared the screenshot of her messages and people were like oh you are so insensitive that you didn't reply to her she was suffering from thalassemia and all you cannot imagine how, how sad I am because I've lost my sister with the same disease She was also suffering from, the can from this cancer and I can relate to what pain she has been go going through, this girl. But again, if I couldn't 
go through her messages, direct messages, then it was not insensitive. I'm one of those very few people who go extra mile to communicate, to see my fans. I have, and this is not for the first time uh, that I, uh, I, I'm telling you this. I'm actually, I've been to many hospitals and places where I found out that someone is on death, deathbed and not even on deathbed if someone is ailing or not well and wants to see me and it's her wish or last wish then I actually went there and and saw that person so and each day I try to like every second day I try to come to um, my life my life chat to communicate with all you guys with every every fan of mine because I love all of you and it's like it's not something which is I'm doing um, as a favor to any of you because I, I try to reciprocate that love and try to love you back the way you do so because you are the you you are the one uh, all of you who make us what we are your love your encouragement your support your appreciation is like an Messages and inbox messages and direct messages, it's not insensitive of me, trust me. And all of my actors and fellow actors and um, fraternity people and males and female celebrities and whosoever are being followed, they cannot do that, right? So stop, stop abusing them and stop calling them insensitive and uh, ruthless or anything like that. Please, we are not, right? I love you all of you and you cannot imagine my day uh, the way I spent this day when I since morning when I came to know about um, Hadia who passed away this morning uh, because I could imagine the pain and uh, I could imagine what she has been going through uh, but uh, trust me that was that was not deliberate and I request all of you to please recite a Surah Fatiha for her um, and I I would like to say this thing as well that please if someone manages to to value the person who's alive and um, it's the best thing when you know when, when we <sighs> I'm actually out of words but try to value the person when he or she's around before you lose him or her or your loved one so it's very very important and um, I hope that Hadia must be in a very good place rather better place than here because this temporary world is nowhere even close to the beauty of eternity so thank you so much once again for understanding what I said and uh, thank you so much for uh, for supporting me and and there's so many people who were supporting me at the same time, like or not all once and for all, even for future, that if you find out that I'm not replying to you, it's not like I'm not going to. And I'm one of those people as well who don't allow my PR person and my team to go into my inbox and direct messages because, you know, all of you, at least 90% of you think that Imran Abbas is, is replying to your messages and opening your direct messages right so it will be very embarrassing for any of you if they find out that this is not Imran Abbas and uh, if they have said something personal or private uh, so it, that will be very embarrassing for her or him so I try to open my direct messages myself and reply to them myself uh, so I couldn't hire a team uh, I can hire a team but I didn't hire a team for this purpose at least, my PR team is there, my manager is there, but I don't allow them to get into my direct messages. So it's important for me to reply all of you, please understand, and yes, I love all of you. And once again, please, please remember Hadi and your prayers. Um, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.